Looks like you finally beat me. About time my luck ran out. Guess I'm overdue. The rest is up to you, kid. I defeated the Blade Breaker. I can't believe it. You should be more careful, Felix. <laughs> what do you know of caution? I guess this is it, then. So it would seem. Your Majesty! It's good to see you safe! Ah, and you, Roderick. Well, Felix, I trust you've been keeping a watchful eye on him. <laughs> I'm afraid there's no watching out for my recklessness. Now you admit it. We need you in one piece. Hmm. See that, Lambert? Just like, like when we were their myself. age. You were there every step of the way. All right. The others are waiting. We wouldn't want them to worry about. <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> You'll pay for this. The steadfast and the vigorous. You would offer them as tribute? <laughs> Again. Y you resist me! No! Not exactly the way I thought I'd meet my end, but... I can only hope that I served you well. Don't say that. We'll get you help. <clears throat> Protect them, Felix. His Majesty. And the Kingdom. Oh. I swear that I will. Lambert. Glenn. Forgive me. Oh. Gerald's... gone? No. This is all my fault. I let them walk all over me. I left him unprotected. I'm sorry, Captain. I'm so sorry. It is what it is. Mercenaries live short lives. It did not have to be like this. Had you not scorned my strength, your father would yet live. The captain was a true titan among men. I... <laughs> can't believe he's gone. <sighs> there is a way to solve this woe. Just grant to me your worldly flesh, and vengeance shall be yours. We must now send the whelp that killed your father to an early grave. Do you mind taking command for a while, Aloise? There's something I need to do. Well, yes, of course, but surely I can aid you. No. This task is mine alone. Very well. But don't you dare get yourself killed. This is the reality of war. We always knew days like today would come. More than anything, I'm worried about how Felix and Dimitri must be feeling right now. <sighs> Where's Dimitri and Felix? They are still talking with the other lords about where we go from here. Rodrigue's death has left some massive shoes to fill. Rodrigue devoted every second of his life to the kingdom, even after he stepped down as a duke. 
There are always plenty of pieces to pick up when you lose someone like that. Listen, this is all my fault. If only I'd figured out what they were up to sooner. I know you won't listen if I tell you you're wrong, so let me just say this. Nothing you do will bring back the dead. And that includes blaming yourself for what happened. Yeah, you're right. Come on, it's getting late. I think we could all use a nice dinner and a good night's rest right now. I get that they're trying to make me feel better, but I still can't help but blame myself. I'm sorry, Arval. You were right. All this stuff about avoiding the Ashen Demon? You knew from the beginning it wasn't gonna happen. What's done is done, and in the end, you've lost someone quite dear to you. A sad turn of events, yes, but you can't wallow in it. No matter how much it may hurt now, this pain will make you stronger, I'm sure of it. I hope you're right, and I guess it's worth remembering there are people much more affected by this than I am. Not much choice now but to toughen up, and one of these days, defeat the Ashen Demon. What are you doing up at this hour? You should head back to your tent. We have an early start tomorrow. I could say the same to you. I know you're busy and all, but you need rest. As pitiful as it may sound, Burying myself in work is the only way I can find peace in times such as these. The moment I close my eyes, I'm greeted by nothing but thoughts of Rodrigue. Dimitri, I'm sorry. It was all my fault. You needn't blame yourself. Felix and I were right there. We could do little more than watch while his life was taken from him. And of course, we never would have found ourselves in such a position had my judgment been better. Still, defeating the Ashen Demon has always been my responsibility. I was a fool to think we could settle things without fighting them, and Rodrigue lost his life to that foolishness. But I won't make the same mistake again. I will defeat the Ashen Demon, mark my words. That fiend is my enemy, too, and everyone else feels the same. Wasn't it you who taught me not to bear all my burdens alone? Now go get some sleep. I'm sure you're tired. Right. Thanks, Dimitri. <sighs> you should know I don't take kindly to eavesdropping, Felix. I should have kept quiet. You know, such talk would kill our morale if our soldiers caught wind of it. Thankfully, it is a secret to all. Save prowlers like you. <laughs> I'm just here to check you're not making things worse. How much worse could it get? My poor leadership sent Rodrigue to his death. He never intended to sacrifice his life like that. You're as thick as ever. Yes, I'm sure my father regretted dying in such a way. But not because he wasn't ready to go. If anything, he was already looking for a fitting place to die. His one regret would be never getting to see the new Fargus, his beloved king created. I... Which is why I'll be taking his place by your side. You need to win this war. Not just for today's kingdom, but for tomorrow's. Only then will his dream finally come true. Felix. It's funny. The two of us staring at the stars on a cold night like tonight brings back memories. You mean when we got snowed in on the mountains? I remember it well. I thought that evening would be our last. 
Until Rodrigue and Glenn found us huddled together amidst the frost, that is. Worst scolding I ever got. <sighs> well, I doubt they begrudge us a few tears tonight, at least. No. I imagine not.